everyone, Shireen here and welcome back to Beauty Editing 101. Today's video is sponsored by Digital Products 669 and I'm going to teach you how to install and use their The Ultimate Titles Pack in Final Cut Pro to create cool titles like the ones in these clips. These titles instantly elevate the look of your videos and there are no animation skills needed. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use six of my favorite titles from this title pack. From changing colors and fonts to title positions, we're going over everything you need to know. Are you ready to start editing like a pro? Let's do this! The Ultimate Titles Pack comes with 222 animated titles, including 20 modern titles, 60 minimal titles, 20 kinetic titles, 20 broadcast titles, 20 vintage titles, 20 wedding titles, 20 slice titles, 20 retro titles, and last but not least, 20 cartoon titles. A regular license for this pack costs $35, which is a fantastic deal for all the titles you're getting. The download link for this pack can be found in the description box below. After you download the Ultimate Titles Pack, find and open the folder in your downloads. If you need additional help, refer to the help document. Fun fact, this title pack also comes with a ton of download links for fonts which can all be found in this help document, so definitely check it out. To import the titles into Final Cut Pro, use Spotlight Search to search for movies. Open the Movies folder, then click on Motion Templates, then Titles. Then drag and drop the Ultimate Titles Pack folder into the Titles folder. Now we are ready to open up Final Cut Pro. Alright, so I already have some clips pre-selected into my timeline in a new project. If you don't know how to create a new project, all you have to do is go up to File, New, Project, click on it, and then it'll give you this page where you can put in a title and then press OK to make a new project. I'm just going to hit Cancel since I already have my project, so I'm going to click on it to make sure it is selected, and let's go ahead and give this first clip a title. To do that, we're going to go over to the Titles and Generators tab, click on it, and then click on Titles, and then click that arrow to bring this drop-down page where you can see all of your different titles in different categories. We're going to click on the Ultimate Titles pack because otherwise you'll just see this whole mess of all your titles. If we just click on it, it'll make it a lot more organized and easier to go through. So for this first clip, it's just a basic shot of a microphone, nothing fancy. But we are going to turn this into a fancy intro by adding a title. So I'm going to choose Vintage 03 because I think this one looks really cool, especially for this. You'll see. So the first thing we're going to do is trim it down. You just drag and drop the end of the clip to trim it down. And we have two options. We can either leave it on top of our clip like this, where it'll be more of an overlay, or if you want the title to just be a standalone, just click and drag it over to that main part of your timeline, that first layer, and that way it'll just be a title on its own. But I want you to be able to see that background microphone clip for this shot, so I'm going to remove the background, and voila, there you go. So now it is time to change the text. I'm just going to scroll down, and we are going to change this to say editing hacks, and then Los Angeles I'm going to take out, and I'm going to put used in Hollywood. Cool. By the way, I did put caps lock on for used in Hollywood, just so that it would look nice. So now I'm going to go over to the text inspector, I'm going to highlight where it says editing hacks, and then we're going to change the font to Apple Gothic. Now you'll see that that G is cutting into where it says used in. So in order to fix that, we're going to go back to the title inspector and then make sure to pick the offset Y axis for editing hacks and just bring it up a few pixels until it just looks nice and is not cutting into used in. That looks great to me. Now I'm going to center where it says used in Hollywood because you see how it's kind of like shifted towards the right right now. I'm going to go to the offset x-axis and just bring that over until it is centered. 
Then for the 1950, I'm just gonna remove that because I don't need it for this. I think it looks perfect just like this. But I do want to scale it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna mess with the scale until it looks good to me. And then I also do want to change that yellow color to a red, which we are gonna get to in a second. All right, now you'll see you have the option of changing all of these different colors. I only wanna change that circle. So we're gonna change color one to this red color and that is it. It is that easy. Now you have a really professional looking intro that is perfect to use for an editing tutorial. Next up, we're gonna create a title for a makeup video. So I'm gonna choose broadcast 20 and insert this onto my timeline on top of the clip once again and trim it down. Then you want to take your cursor and scrub through this title to see where the end point of the animation is. Or not necessarily the end point, but just where it kind of stops moving for a second and becomes static. So right here is the point and we're gonna make sure to select the title and then start editing. I highly recommend making edits at the point where the animation stops for a beat because if you do it at any other point, the title will keep moving and can make the text appear cut off or in the wrong position when it's really not. This is a mistake I've made before, so I wanted to share this tip to prevent you all from making the same mistake. Anyways, I'm just gonna be changing up the wording to say hashtag beauty and then every Wednesday at 12 p.m. So right now you'll see that that yellow background box is a bit too tight, at least for my liking. So we're gonna make it a little bit wider. To do that, we're gonna go to shape to width and just increase the pixels until it looks nice. 1100 seems to do the trick. And then for beauty, we're gonna just squeeze in that box a little bit and make it more compressed. And I think that looks really nice. Now you'll see that beauty looks a little bit boring right now. So we're gonna go over to the text inspector and change the font. I'm gonna go with Coolvetica. Now that looks pretty cool. So you'll see the Y is actually kind of digging into that yellow background box. So we're actually going to lift up the position of beauty by going to the Y offset and just bringing it up a little bit. Much better. You know what? Let's bring that up a little bit more. Hashtag perfectionist. Okay, let's switch up these colors. I'm gonna scroll up to the top of this title inspector and double click on that first color for shape one. Once you do that, it'll bring up this colors window and this will allow you to use that eyedropper tool by clicking on it and then you can go over whatever color you want on the screen and grab that color. Then drag and drop that color from the colors window to the color that you want to change where it says shape one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. Then from there, you can drag and drop that color onto the other parameters, and it just makes staying consistent with your color scheme so easy. I'm going with a pink, green, and white color scheme because those are Pixie's colors, and Pixie is the brand that is being showcased in these clips. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found this eyedropper and dragging and drop color technique super helpful. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is change the image of this lady to an image of makeup. So we have to change the image placeholder for that. You're gonna click on that down arrow to select a source clip. Now I already placed a clip into my timeline that I want to choose a still from, and you'll see I'm scrubbing through the clip right now to figure out which frame I want to use for my image. So I'm gonna choose one right here towards the end. I really like that one. And then let's just close that colors window, get it out of the way, and then press apply clip. Boom, there you go. Now you have your still image into that circle and it just looks so nice, like so professional. Now I'm just adjusting the X and Y axes for that image, just to center it a little bit. And then I'm gonna scale it up so that it's a little bit larger and then just make a few more minor adjustments until I have it looking exactly how I want. Side note, you can also use just an image for that image placeholder if you want to. So simply drag in and drop the image into your timeline from your desktop or wherever else it is on your computer and then press apply image. You don't have to pick a still from a video if you don't want to. Okay, now that I'm done being a perfectionist, we're gonna move over this entire title to the left and down because I want it in that bottom left corner. So to do that, we're gonna go over to title position 
and start to move over the x-axis and then the y-axis. You can also scale it up or down if you want to by using title scale, but I'm just going to keep it how it is. Going to make some minor adjustments and you've got yourself a really nice looking title. For this next clip, I want a title that'll show the name of the product. So I'm going to be using Broadcast 16. This title is so cool and I just love it. It makes this so easy to do. The coolest part about it is that it has these two anchor points. So I'm just going to trim it down real quick and you'll see what I mean in a sec. So per usual, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the background so that you can see that video. And then all you have to do is drag and drop these two circles to wherever you want them. So I'm going to have that first circle on the product and then the second circle with that text up a little bit higher. So now I'm going to change this so that the shade name comes first. So that is crystalline. And then for the bottom, I'm going to put the name of the product, which is the Pixie Beauty Liquid Fairy Lights. Then after this, we're just going to make the width of this a little bit smaller so there's not such a big gap after crystalline and that is looking good all right so next we're going to go over to the text inspector and i'm going to change the font for crystalline just so it stays consistent with the previous title so we're going to change it to cool vetica and then i'm going to scale up the size just a little bit so it fits within that box a little bit better. Now, going back to the title inspector, it's time to change those colors. In order to keep them consistent with the previous green and pink colors, I'm going to go back to the other title, double click on the color so that that color window comes up, go back to this new title, and then drag and drop in the colors. I'm going to do the same exact thing for the pink, just so that way we know we have these same exact shades. This is one of my favorite titles because it's more like a call out and it can be used in so many different types of videos, fashion, cooking, fitness, vlogs, you name it. The possibilities are endless and that goes for honestly all of these titles. The last thing I'm going to do for this series of clips is delete that third one. We only had it in there so that it could be used for that image placeholder, but we don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to press delete and here's what it looks like. Moving on to these next clips, I'm just going to speed through these because the concepts are relatively the same as far as changing the text, colors, fonts, and all of the different parameters goes. I just want to show you how versatile these titles really are. So this one is the Retro 03 title and I just love the whole vaporwave aesthetic. It's so cool. It's definitely one of my favorite titles. Moving right along, we've got Slice 17, and this one's a really cool, modern-looking one that I just love. I'm just going to change up all the wording and stuff again, and you're going to notice in a sec that I'm going to put two spaces in front of how and in front of I, because I want the text to be centered and not cut off by that middle line. Now I'm just changing the colors up to make them pop a little bit more. You guys should be experts at this by now. It's so easy. And then I'm just going to add a K to that 100 to make myself seem a little bit more baller, you feel me? Last one. Let's say you're doing an interview piece or something like that, and you want to show the person's name and position on screen. So Minimal 40 is a really great one for that. There's also different styles within the Minimal section for this, so definitely check them out. But anyways, I'm just going to give myself a fancy title, VP of Sales at Sephora, because, you know, it sounds great. Not true at all, but sounds great, so we're going to go with it. And I'm just going to adjust the parameters until it looks the way I want it to look. And that is it. These are all so versatile and easy to use. Now you know how to install and use the Ultimate Titles Pack. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful, and drop a comment down below letting me know what editing tutorial you would like to see next. Thanks again to Digital Products 669 for sponsoring this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye.